What is up, guys? It's Johnny Cage Banger here for another tutorial. Uh, today I got you guys the Zaytoven, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta Famous Dex kind of tutorial, you know what I'm saying, the type of beat those guys rap off of as far as, like, tempo and style. You can say it like that. So when you want to start making those type of beats, you really want to grab a sound that you can... um manipulate that's not too high of a frequency or too low of a frequency something that you can add a lot of shit to you know what i'm saying something you can put more instruments on top of even if it's like uh a 808 or you know what i'm saying an, an effect something that something that's a versatile sound so i just went and grabbed this art you know what i'm saying and that doesn't sound like shit until you stack them up so and it's, it's funny how I learned how to use, uh, how to make chords. I literally just, because I, I, I use my um, computer keyboard to make my sounds. I don't use like a long fucking piano keyboard. I just prefer not to use that just because I don't know how to play the piano. So I really don't like it. I like to punch it in myself. So I just learned the piano solely off um using this piano roll right here because I got this Yamaha in there but I'm like fuck that so I literally get on my keyboard put my my finger on a key skip a key put it on another key skip a key put it on another key then I do the same thing and that and that gives you the thing now I can go low with this I can go here And I can go anywhere as long as I have my finger on those three keys a key apart. So that's a little that's a little tip that uh or a secret that I do. So this is what we got. So you know what I'm saying? That's the uh that's the arp now. The reason I threw that arp in there is because I knew I was gonna come in with this piano. Now this piano it's from the uh, Nexus, just the piano folder, and it's the Nexus Grand. I'm guessing that's octave piano, but this is this is what would it sound like if I kept all this shit on. Now, how I did that? Go over here to mix, and this shows you everything that's in the sound. It would sound like this, which is not bad. So you got this. If I take all these off. You know what I'm saying? Now, you're probably wondering how I did all of this shit right here. And, you know, this shit, like, oh, shit, this looks real complicated. Fellas, it's not. So, I come right here to where it says snap to grid. It's right next to your pencil tool. So, snap to grid. Third, I'm sorry for this sniffing, guys. I must be contracting another code. This is some bullshit. But, um, so I, I look at my E, and then I make sure... Everything else is good, so I know I started, let me go back, I started with E at the top up here, and the reason I know the transition, because I got E, F, and I could have just did A, B with the piano, but I chose E, F solely just because I just felt like I can do that, it's not like I chose this and didn't choose that, I mean, I just did, I went to E first, because it was the top key. And I just went with it. So, as far as my piano goes, you see all these keys. B, A, F, E, C, A. As you can see, really, this is this is really it right here. That's really the main function. Because A right here is A down here. B right here is B right here. So, it's like from A to F. And then I just went back over again, started again at A, you know what I'm saying, like that. So, and all my keys, like I said, they're all they're all in uh in unison with this A C B D E, you know what I'm saying. So F, I so I got all of this shit. So the main key 
for all of this shit is to uh, understand your instrumentation and understand how you're going to do this shit. So after I did that, I laid it out. So this is what it sounds like together. Oh, Johnny Cage. Ah, uh, not yet, mama. But um, <laughs> after that, I go here to my bando drum kit that you guys know about. This is all the shit that I use. So went over here to the sound fonts, and I got the Zaytoven organs which pretty much are the organs you guys, I'm sure you guys want. Oh, couldn't do that on the keyboard, but I can do it on here though. So we got, let me click song. We got this. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing this, but a lot of people want to know. So this is it, how to fucking do the Zaytoven organs. Cause I've been hearing so many people and I know I looked it up myself just because uh this code is about to kill me fellas pray for me um I see a lot of people asking I know even myself at one point I was YouTube and like man how the fuck do you do these Zaytoven organs you know what I'm saying I was wondering this shit so once I figured it out just off the jump of me fucking like, let me just try this shit, because it sounds like a chord, but it also has this roll. But I do snare roll, so if I do a snare roll with the organ and do a chord like I do some other shit, that should be the fucking snare roll. So how I did this shit is basically, you see it's A, B, E. Now, those are all the keys, you know what I'm saying, used in my piano and in my arp. So I'm good anywhere that I put these right here to make the organ. The chord is just the last chord of my thing right here. So you got A. What's that? D. You got A, D, E. Okay. So after all of that, you can see right here, I got A, B, and what we got right here, E. So even though you may think some things are supposed to correspond exactly as long as you're in the threshold as far as the keys that you use in the instrumentation you'll always be able to make a good sound so that's for starters that's how you get the chord of it as long as you're using the same keys that you are using in the in the beat so if you if you're using the same keys that you use in the piano it's gonna sound good if you're using the same keys that you used in the lead or the fucking uh art or you know what i'm saying whatever it's gonna sound good as long as it's all corresponding and then you got this right here so the way i did that it's not really a huge huge deal but i come over here one six so i'll, I'll just show you guys how to do that so i just took a i just took one of these now it doesn't have to be at like because i could have really just let it go all the way to the middle, what that was just the last one. So usually I do put it in the middle, so I make sure it's at the middle. Come to one six, and then I just, you know, what I'm saying, add these little things. So say I want to bring it to here. Let me just, I'll just delete this and show you guys. So I'm pretty sure that maybe that's the middle. I may be off one. Nope, that's the middle. So then I'm on one six. I'm literally, literally just making these little things until I get up here. This is fucking crazy. It's hilarious. Boom. Now look at this. Now you like, but it's not rolling. The easiest way I can show you, come down here, click that, and then just drag your cursor up. Voila. Now you done did the Zaytoven snares. Now, I mean, Zaytoven organ, but usually Zaytoven will do like, he'll do it a real long one like that, but I just like to do it short and then throw some uh, delay on that. Now, how I throw the delay, once I click on this, I go over here to the functions tab. Then I click feed. I turn my feed up because this is how many times, this is how loud I want the delay to do it. And then I put it on two, which will give me two extra, you know what I'm saying, reverbs. And then, um, 
come here to my time and I put it at four. So that's going to give me this. Two voices. Now, after that, you want to come to the thing we've been waiting on, the drums. Now that we got these drums all in order, you guys got to understand that this making beats is a creative process, so you don't want to go into it like, I'm about to do this because I remember seeing or hearing Zaytoven do this or hearing this beat. You want to come in there. You kind of want to make it your own. So this is the 808 from my no-key drum kit. That's oh, 808 number seven. You know, so we got it like this. And as you can see, I'm still on I'm still on key with all of my stuff. C, C, B, D, F. Those are the same keys and all my other shit. So you guys want to get into the habit of making sure everything is on key. And then you go over here to your 808. 808's on C5. And that's because it's on C right there. It's already mixed down for you guys. It's already in the the correct key so you guys can just get in and just play but you know what I'm saying so it's almost like your 808 is an instrument too so you have to use it like I know a lot of people do these fucking these flat ass patterns you know what I'm saying that shit's that's just boring, so you wanna you wanna give it some type of change and then I know you guys if you guys ever watch my videos I talk about a bounce. You wanna have a bounce because if you don't have a bounce, the artist is pretty much left for dead because the song isn't giving it any hype. So when you're making these Zaytoven beats and you making these beats for these artists that got this hype, you know what I'm saying, saucy, wavy style, you always wanna you always wanna bring it. So always bring it. And I know a lot of people don't even like, <clears throat> a lot of people don't even like fuck with my beats because maybe they never heard them or, you know, shit like that. So it's pretty, it's pretty crazy to know that it's a lot of people out here with talent such as myself. That's not like a huge producer, but everyone has their time to shine. So you may have raw beats and you feel like you won't get anywhere or it's artists or it's producers that's already making beats. And you don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, you have a chance. We got to get that scarcity complex out of here, guys. We all know there's enough money for everybody when they just gave out a fucking Powerball with a, mil with a billion fucking dollars, excuse me. So if you don't think there's money out there for you when they giving money away to that magnitude, you're insane. So just because a producer is making beats or making beats that kind of sound like yours or you making beats that kind of sound like theirs or whatever the case is or it's a producer already in your city that's buzzing trust me there is enough for everybody you don't have to hate on anybody you don't have to down anybody you don't have to do anything negative keep that positive energy flowing the universe is going to open for you because there's enough for everybody get that scarcity complex out of here that's the fucking people fucking you up so to get these 808 sharp click on your sample instrument tab and I'm going to reset all this because I know you guys have probably seen this shit already but we're going to do it again and if you're new and you hear me doing all this writing it's pretty normal not all this sniffing and coughing and shit I'm just sick but I got to do this shit for you guys man so for for a tight 808 because you know Zaytoven has this type of shit it almost gives it a Oh, I don't know how to say it. He gives it like this crazy feel where it's like the instrumentation is just taking you. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's the patterns and then that's the snares. So I'm going to get into all that shit. So this is with my flat 808 without me mixing it over here in the uh, instruments and properties. It's a sad fucking 808. So really come over here. Boom, instrument properties. Turn that down, turn that up, turn that down, turn that up, turn that down. Easy enough. Now that's my first pattern. Then I come into my second 808 pattern. Like I tell you guys all the time in my other videos, 
you guys have to understand patterns make the fucking beat. If you have a weak pattern, the beat is whack. I don't give a fuck. So that's how you guys, that's what I have to tell you guys. You guys, your patterns have to be better. You hear that? So a lot of people won't even understand or even catch this right here. But for somebody that really enjoys music and really loves the music, you know what I'm saying? L putting little accents like that, little intricacies like that makes a huge difference and make, makes it get way more praise. So let's hear that again. You know what I'm saying? So how I'm doing that, come over here to slide and you select it, it's going to press it down. So you want to put the slide where your next key is going to go. So if I have it at F and it's about to come back to C, I'm going to bring it at C. But I could just, I could turn it, bring it lower and make it do it this. You know what I'm saying? Or I can bring it out further. Further. You know what I'm saying? I can do it either one, but I just like it at that. Because it's just like a little womb. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all Gucci. You just got to make sure that your patterns are all good. So, after that, I come here to my second pattern. You guys got to understand that when you're doing this shit, you literally... Hold on, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I was just listening to that pattern. That's ridiculous. But you guys got to understand that when you're doing these patterns, you got to think so. Am I, if an artist is rapping on these patterns and they're rapping on your beat, imagine if the beat was just the same the whole time, nothing dropped, nothing changed. You wouldn't have any dynamics. There wouldn't be any dancing. It wouldn't be nothing. He just on that bitch. No, 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 Regardless of how you think his skills are, his skills are already set in stone that he's either awful or he's good. Now, the beat, that's the key. So you like, all right, I'm about to listen to fucking Lil B or whatever. But if Lil B is produced by fucking Stackboy Twan or some shit, Murder or fucking TM88, you go, damn, let me check this shit out. But if it's, if it's produced by somebody that you don't know, rather, and you not a you not a fucking connoisseur of production and shit like that. You probably wouldn't even give it a once over. So, you know what I'm saying? It's really it's really a producer thing. You know what I'm saying? You really have to to like the like the beat to like the song. Now you probably like, boy, that kick is hitting hard. This is why. Send a no key drum kit. It just my London on the track kick. You know what I'm saying? Cough, cough, fuck with that no key drum kit. Niggas tweaking. But, um, you know what I'm saying? That's my kick. And it's just the kick pattern to the 808. So it's nothing out of the ordinary. These are just my kick patterns corresponding with the 808s. You know what I'm saying? So these are just the kick patterns. I'll show you guys this shit. You got to understand how this shit goes, man. I know I keep saying that. It's so it's so crazy because it's not it's nothing I can tell you guys to make you just get it overnight, you know what I'm saying? It's really a it's really a mental, you know what I'm saying? It's almost metaphysical to to really understand how this shit's going and how this shit goes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like do this, do this, do that. It could because it's an art form, so you have to feel it. You have to be like, oh, this is fucking nuts. When I'm making beats and my buddy will come in and see me making a beat or some shit, he'll be like, boy, you going crazy. And that's just because I'm fucking, I'm dancing, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking doing my little dabs while I'm at the chair making the beats and shit. So it's really funny to see to see how somebody that really loves their work reacts to it. And everybody reacts the same when they hear my beats. So, this is this is a clap. I got this clap from the uh, for trappers only. You know what I'm saying? Get your hands on that shit, man. I got all kind of shits on here, but this is the clap. 
number nine. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. So you want to get your little clap in there. And then this is the key. This is in the bando drum kit. This is the key right here. Snare number 10. Now, I have a few of these. I got that one. And I got that one. Reverb. No reverb. So there's our, there are differences in each one. So I may use one instead of the other. It's all basically instrumentation. It's all preference. So a lot of people get these these Beethoven snares and they, they try to throw a thousand fucking snares in there. And they think it's shit to just random placement. I could just do some shit like that. Nah. You want to have these bitches hidden at these specific times. Because before before I separate them like this, I have everything in one pattern, and I listen to it and play it out to see how this shit goes. So when you're making a beat, and say you got this snare right here, you shouldn't have an 808 hidden right here. You shouldn't have a, a hi-hat hidden right here. You shouldn't have shit right here. You shouldn't have shit right here. This should be its own place. You have shit in its own place, and that's how shit corresponds. So if I have a hi-hat right here, the hi-hat should be doing its own thing. It shouldn't be t -t -t with this. It may be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Some type of crazy riff, and I'll show you guys, but this is what I got. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little, just a little decent pattern. I, it, that just, that was bugging the hell out of me. So, um, you want to have a pattern that makes the shit to give it, to give it that bounce, you know what I'm saying? Put some sauce on that shit. So now I got the 808. Now look at that. I mean the hi-hat. Look at this right here. Look at this motherfucker right here. This was a total accident and it ended up being nice. And I kind of fell in love with the pattern. So I kept it. Because I hear Zaytoven. He uses these. But they just sound so awful to me. You know what I'm saying? That Just that sound is just... Ugh. But it just worked somehow. Now, I'll show you guys a few hotkeys. So, a lot of people will see this shit and they'll be like, damn, I'm not about to sit in here and do this shit. Or just a tedious thing, so you probably just won't do it. So, you, you come right here, you click control, you drag over this, right? And you come over here, let's say I wanted these to do the little, you know what I'm saying, the little things. I control you them shits. I mean, oop, not control you. I fucking say I wanted them bitches at like here or some shit. Boom. Now, how did I do that? I went over here. Whichever one of these I want. So if I wanted it at 1-6, control U. That's going to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Control Z to bring it back. Control Alt C, you know what I'm saying, to bring back, to keep going back, back with the steps. So that's my hi hat pattern. So then this is just my other hi hat pattern. And really, I just did that because you see that little, you see these little joints right here. That's because I got the fucking uh, 808 pattern hidden. Boom, 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 boom. So I don't want boom. You know what I'm saying? What hella shit. I want this shit to be a nice, steady pattern. So you're going to see what I'm talking about, where we at right now. All right, boom. Come in for the Bando kid. Type in Bando. I'm a fucking beast anyway. Um, let me close that. Anyway, come right here. You do all your shit. Make sure everything's good. This is really the same pattern. You know what I'm saying? This is the same pattern. And if you won the last one, shouts out to you, man. So I try to... uh. I try to be cool, so when people ask in the comments, like, yo, how do I do this? How do I do that? I try to do this shit for you guys, so I know a lot of people are asking for the organ. So, uh, that's how you do the fucking organ. So, I try to show you guys how to do a lot of the shit that you asked me to do solely because I would hate for a producer to give up or for a, pro a producer to hit a slump where they can't fucking make any beats anymore because they forget how to do some shit or, you know what I'm saying, they feel like they making the same ass beat, so and they get in a slump and they just fall off, which is what happened to me. So I really did. I hit a slump. I couldn't make any good beats. All my beats were sounding the same. You can even look on my YouTube. I had a little period where all my beats 
they were just like the same type of beats, you know what I'm saying? So I really had to conquer myself and I had to smoke a lot of thrax. You know what I'm saying? It took a lot of fucking thrax for me to fucking get out of my slump because I was smoking and I was trying shit and I was fucking giving up and I was just, and I really, this is what I did. I really told myself, I was like, dude, you really about to fucking throw away your talent. You really, you know that, right? And I'm like, I, I had these conversations with myself because nobody knows me like I know me. My mom, my own mom doesn't even know me the way I know me. Nobody can know you the way you know you. So regardless what anybody tells you about, you should do this or you should do that. You know what you shouldn't do. You know what you should do. If you have talent, you are actually giving up your fucking destiny. If God gave you a talent or whoever you believe gave you the talent, if the universe has granted you with talent that you have became aware of, because we have talent that's unexplainable. Everybody can do anything if they choose to do it. So I chose to recognize music production. I can make, I can draw, I can do graphic arts, I play football, you know what I'm saying? I could, I could do all this bullshit. I play fucking Call of Duty, I'm a beast. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up, Johnny47Cage on fucking Xbox. We can get it in. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has a talent. I chose to recognize this is my talent. To the point where you feel like you can't make any more beats. You feel like your shit is just getting whack. You have to go inside of yourself. Tell yourself, I can do this shit. Whatever beat I'm about to make right now, I'm about to make this shit work. And I promise myself, I'm not going to give up on this bitch until it's finished. You don't have any fucking self Discipline. If you really, if you quit making that beat after you tell yourself that, you're a fucking pussy because you really gave up on yourself. You might as well let go on the ledge if you was hanging off a cliff. You know what I'm saying? Because you gave up on yourself. So this is <laughs> this is my Bando Vox, <laughs> aka the dilemma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that all that shit corresponds with the fucking keys and shit too so it's really about understanding your patterns understanding your keys and then it, the crash that i always use so we come in here to my mix and we see how this shit's going this is my voice don't mind my voice let's look at this mix for a second not too high not too low just mid <laughs> Piano not going over the art. Oh, let's watch it go away. So you hear that high pattern, you hear how that shit's going. All your shit has to correspond. So you can hear my snares get their own time. You know what I'm saying? The hi-hats get their own time. The 808 patterns get their own time. So everything has to be, everything has to be sectioned. So let's hear, let's hear from one pattern to the next pattern. I'm going to go in depth with you guys and show you the patterns and, and what time to use them and et cetera. So... Oh, Johnny Cage banger. So you can hear right before that come on, I had the regular art. And then I threw my little tag, which is bless me, which is basically Johnny bless me with another fucking banger. Bless me. Bless me. And I threw the piano in there and now it's about to go down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, First Johnny pattern. Cage banger. So it's it's basically all about 
your instrumentation and your patterns. So as you can see, my 808 changed up right at about 17. So the key spots for me are 9, 17, 33, 41, 57. And then I basically, once I get it to 57, that's the end of my chorus. I come across with control and I drag. And then I basically just press shift, press shift, <laughs> and drag it over. As you can see, it's the exact replica. You know what I'm saying? So delete. So basically, that's how you lay it out. And then, you know what I'm saying? I throw this shit in here. Uh, I throw this shit in here. Oh, this code is about to kill me, fellas. I hope this really helped. I hope y'all didn't get grossed out by me sniffing and shit. But this is how this is how you make a Zaytoven beat. Now, you guys can go look at my other videos to show you how I lay things out and how I throw things in the mixer and how I do shit in depth. You can go to my channel and just click on any other thing, and I'll show you how to lay this shit out. I don't want to get too repetitive, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, Go ahead and smash that like button for a young nigga. Uh, comment any other tutorials you guys want to see. And once again, this is Johnny Cage Banger. I'm out of here. I'm going to play this beat. And I actually already uploaded the beat uh, on YouTube a few days ago. But I remember somebody asking me about the organ. So I just did it. So this is the beat right here, fellas. Hope you guys enjoy. Johnny Cage Banger, out of here. fucking with that shit man i was really i didn't <laughs> i was trying to find some tissue i gotta get up and get some tissue i was trying to show you guys how to do this shit but i'll just show it right quick left click or right click rather highlight the section that you want so say i wanted uh i wanted a crazy okay all right say i wanted a crazy ass filter right here so i'll come here I wanted a triangle low pass. Cut that bitch on. I ain't gonna cut it on because it's gonna fuck up my voice. Turn it down with the knob. So I gotta do turn it down. Right click, create automation clip. That's gonna create the automation clip in this little section right here. So then I right click, that's gonna create me a knob. And then I just like to turn this mid up to give it this little thing. So when I cut it back on, it's gonna sound like this. <laughs>
what I'm saying. So that's how you do that. And that's to say Tovin. That's to say Tovin. Um tutorial guys so i hope you guys like it man fuck with me these drum kits are 25 bucks a pop and they're stuffed with shit man i hope this tutorial i hope i didn't half ass this, this tutorial for you guys if i did man let me know and i'll do another one man so this shit you know what i'm saying it's it's filled with shit it's filled with all kinds of shit, all the shit. Yup. Filled with all kinds of shit that you guys want. I got all kinds of shit for you guys, man. For trappers only. I got everything you guys want. With this shit, too. Uh, no key. You know this one. Shit in here for you guys, just so you guys can fuck with this shit. Is you rolling? Is you rolling? No. Nah. Is you rolling? No. Is you roll? No, damn it! What the hell? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put this shit in here. Good morning. You know what I'm saying? Through through all kinds. Run the of shit. <laughs> I threw all kinds of shit in there for you guys, man. So. Hit me up if you want these kits. Email and shit is in the description, man. Once again, it's Johnny Cage, motherfucking banger, and I'm out of here. Like, comment, and sub for more. I got more shit for you guys, and I have no more codes because I'm about to get over there. So I'm about to flame up Thrax. I'm about to get me a fucking book, read, chill, and fucking make more beats later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this shit, man. Go make some shit. You can do this shit, man. You can do it. Trust me. I believe in you guys. 37 minutes, you guys hung along, man. If you're serious about doing this shit, watch these tutorials. If you already have these sounds, get the shit going. If you don't have these sounds, invest in your craft and copy you these drum kits. Even even if you get one of these bitches, man, you're going to be ahead of the game, dude. You know what I'm saying? Even watching one of these tutorials, you'll be ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? So... This is just my little end rant. You guys don't really have a... You guys really don't think you guys are maybe that good or maybe think you are good, but you're wondering why you're not on and why the fuck artists are fucking with you and shit like that. Don't give up. Everyone has their time to shine. So right now, it's other people's time to shine right now. And then maybe maybe in an hour, you know what I'm saying, you're about to shine. Somebody's going to find you on YouTube or find you on fucking SoundCloud or SoundClick, and you're going to blow up. So never give up on what the fuck's going to happen. Because just a few days ago, I wasn't even fucking going to make any more videos or no shit like that. I'm like, nah, man, I really need to focus on my beats, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm like, wait. I can do anything I fucking want to do because I'm Johnny Cage motherfucking banger and I have talent. You have talent. You're set. We're on this world to do three things. Create, learn, and teach. That's what we're here for. So rather it's creating beats or creating a fucking cure or creating the next fucking burger. Whatever the fuck you're doing, you're here to create. You're here to learn because you have to learn so you can teach. And so when you get taught... You know how to create. So once you create, then you have to learn and teach. So it's a never-ending cycle. So all those are the three umbrellas. So you have to even learn yourself. Learn how to fucking manage yourself. So once you once you understand yourself, you're going to be set. You know what's the end when self fights self. You guys probably don't know who said that. So little homework. Go check that out. Read you up on some shit, man. Learn you some shit, man. You can come back and fuck with your boy. So, Johnny K's banger, I'm out of here. Yeet.